Hi guys, my name is Mohammad Shehzad and today we are going to install OpenVAS. OpenVAS is a vulnerability scanner and uh, it's come free open source coming with the Kali Linux. But uh, in Kali Linux default installation, the Kali Linux 2020, it's not included. So we have to install separately. So let's go and uh, install uh, OpenVAS on Kali Linux and then we will explore uh, how how it works. So let's go in my vCenter. I'm already in vCenter and as you know, you guys know if you have seen my previous video that the installation of Kali Linux 2020, we have installed on our uh, one of the ASXi server and make sure you have a still uh, reachability to you know Kali Linux to the internet so it can download the uh, OpenVAS SATA files and other things. Okay, I will click here and we will log in uh, with the name which we have given last time okay so here we go we have uh, reachability to our uh, uh, network and internet let's start the open was if you go and read right type here open was i don't have so i will go and install let's start the installation Make sure you have an internet uh, connectivity. So the lines we will type here for installation, we will say apt-get update and apt-get install dash y open was and hit enter okay so here we go we saw some lines like permission denied permission denied permission denied because we are not logging with the root remember this user during the installation we made doesn't have a root so let's see uh, if we can go into super user su enter and i'll give a pass Oh, still fail. So we will do sudo command, sudo su, enter. Now we will give a password. See, now I am in a root privileges. So now I can run the same command. apt dash get update and apt dash get install dash y open was and see now it's start working and getting the packages from the internet and it's uh, gonna install all the things okay uh, i will pause the video because it's gonna take some time to download all the packages and unpack and uh, then installing them one by one on the Kali Linux. So when it's completed, I'll come back and then we'll start from here. Okay, so it has done some uh, downloads and also installed some setups and managers. So uh, it's at, uh, at this moment, it's have downloaded all the things. So let's start put another command, which is uh, setup command. So we will do setup as dash setup. you can run it from here as well and if you go here you can say open was see now i can see all the installed like open was check check setup open was feed updates open was initial setups open was service start and open was open was service stop start and stop another tool so uh, before when uh, this was not installed, we saw there was a no, uh, uh, nothing rela uh, related to OpenVAS. Now we have some things. So you can run from here as uh, the setup, initial setup, initial setup here. You can uh, start from here or you can just type here the OpenVAS setup and hit enter. And it will start uh, setting up the database and it will create and generate the 
uh, admin user account and then uh, uh, it, it it will also take quite time because it's uh, downloading all the files from uh, 2000 to 2020 till now so it will do and then it will build a open database and then it will check for again updates and then uh, it will give us a uh, message that the database is completed and then the user is set up with the default user is admin and it will give us a long uh, password so we will reset the password and then we can uh, start the uh, next activity so one more thing i would like to say the guys who is watching the videos of uh, kali linux and my other uh, tools in the kali linux I'm uh, uh, reminding that all my videos is only for educational purposes and for cyber security, uh, uh, cyber security uh, certifications. So kindly do not use the techniques for uh, illegal activities. So um, uh, stay with the educational things only. So let's uh, pause the video right now. And then uh, when it's completed and I'll come back and uh, I'll join you guys again. Okay guys, it's uh, already installed uh, and uh, it's created one uh, user on the back, admin user and it's generated the password this one. So it's a bit longer password. So we will put our own password uh, for uh, this admin user and let's go and put like uh, our user. So <clears throat> we will type open was and uh, <clears throat> minus user equal admin dash new dash dash new dash password equal admin. okay open was md dash dash user admin dash dash new and space dash password admin okay so <clears throat> saying md open user was dash dash user admin new dash dash password the main critical main context unknown new okay okay so it's a uh, password is also set okay so uh, today's video is here uh, we will close and the next in the next video we will start open open was with uh, our uh, you know browser and uh, then we'll proceed so see you up to next video take care bye bye